In this video, I'm going to add a graph to my program. So we've got our program, which deals with, at the moment, projectile motion with no drag. And it's fired a ball and told us the final velocity and position. But let's try and get a graph of, say, the height versus time or the trajectory of the object. So let's add some space up here. Set up graph. If we want our graph to be savable and to have labels, we need to define the graph ahead of time, which is done with a graph command. Let's call it, I don't know, my plot equals, and we're going to use the graph command, and then we give it various options. And one option will be the x title, which is whatever is going to be labeled at the bottom of the graph, equals, in quotes, and let's say we want to have time here in seconds. And we'll have a Y title, which is the Y axis label. And that's going to be height, meters. Um, now, vPython has two different plotting libraries, the fast one and the slow one. I normally use the slow one because it gives it's actually still pretty fast, it's far, quite fast enough for anything I want to do, and it uh, allows you to download and zoom and do other things in the image. So what that means is we're going to turn fast off. So that's fast equals false with a capital F. That means don't do the fast, which means do the slow. OK, so that's going to give us our graph with our labels. And then we want a line to go on the graph. So we can call it line, for example. And this is going to be called a G curve. There are also commands other than G curve for a set of points or error bars and things like this. But here we want a nice continuous curve will do us for this. And we'll give it a color. Uh, make it red, for example. Color dot red. Okay, so that's created a line. The line has no points at the moment. So to add point, we're going to add a whole series of points for every time step. That means we need to add the points in the loop. So what we can do is we can do. Um, We called our, our line line. So it's line dot plot adds a point to our line. And we want to add the time. And we want to add the height of the ball, which is going to be ball dot pos dot y, the y component of the position of the ball. OK, now I hope I've got that right. Let's try it out and see what happens. And I think that pretty much worked. So the ball rolled down, and it produced a graph um, which shows the height going down to what it's supposed to do over the right sort of time. And we've now got some space down the very bottom to plot the final velocity in the final position. Or you can read it off the graph. Uh, because we've used the not fast version, you can just put the cursor over any point on the graph and get its x and y coordinates. So, yay, graph!